This is Lita Powell Drake reporting from Hollywood. We have a young lady who is one of the stars of Charles in Charge. Her name is Jennifer Runyon. She's a campus beauty now on Charles in Charge. Jennifer, were you a campus beauty then, <laughs> back in real high school and not on television? No, I wasn't. What were you? I was fat. <laughs> you were fat? Yes, ma'am. I was 165 pounds and... But you're short. Yes, I'm 5'3". How did you... W were you fat as a child? No, I was very skinny as a child. When I turned about 11 or 12, that's when I started gaining weight. And I don't know why. I just love food. <laughs> well, what did you do then to, to lose it? Well, I finally... When I was in high school, the last year of high school, 18 about, I took one look at myself finally, and I thought, I really don't like the way I look, and I wanted to be an actress. And I finally started to lose the weight. By just not eating or exercising or combination? No, well, I had gone through all the, the syndromes of not eating and all the fad diets. Finally, I went on Weight Watchers, oh. and that really helped me knock off all the way. You know, when you hear about the young girls getting anorexia nervosa, mm -hmm. I always jokingly say, gosh, if I could just have anorexia nervosa for one week, I know I, I said just that get too. that. But w was it ever a problem? Were you aware of any of the girls just not eating in order to be thin? There was one girl I knew in high school that, that uh, was very skinny, and she felt she was fat and would make herself sick. And so, yeah, I, there was one person I knew, but I didn't know anything about it at the time. That was before I think anybody really knew what it mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. And I never had a problem. I just liked to eat too much. I couldn't um, starve myself mm -hmm. if they paid me. <laughs> In Charles in Charge, uh, she gets to kiss Scott Baio. As a matter of fact, you made the initial pilot, but then you were just, that was supposed to be a one-time only situation? That's right. And what happened so that you got back on the series as a regular? Well, I guess the response was good, and so they, when the series sold, they called and um, asked if I would come back, and I was more than happy to. You said yes? Oh, sure. You said, I'll be back. I wanted to. Okay, back. to give you an idea of who she is on the show, if you haven't seen it, and how she interrelates with Scott Bale, if you s set up this scene and what you're trying to prove here. Okay, this is the scene where I have come over for a date with Charles, and um, I think we're now on the couch, and he has just kissed me, and that's where it starts. Watch this. You kissed me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kissed me back. How friendly! I kissed you friendly, Charles. You meant your kiss. Oh, well, yeah, I meant my kiss. I always mean my kiss. Well, except for an aunt I had, I didn't believe in electrolysis, but she's dead now. I've always felt friendly about that. Yeah, well, you really had me going, didn't you, with all your charm and your modesty and this cute little ass of yours, huh? You probably rented the kids just to throw me off guard, didn't you? And then what is it? Was it a bad kiss? Oh, you can tell me. I'm not proud. I've got one kiss. If it's no good, teach me. Here, use my face. <laughs> And in addition to Charles in Charge, she's going to be in a 13-hour miniseries, which is starting right here on 1011 Strong in April, called Space. Yes. Would you tell us about that, Jennifer? Sure. Um, it's a miniseries for CBS, 13 hours. Um, and it's all about our space program. Uh, it takes place from 1940s to the early 70s, I believe. And um, I play James Garner's daughter, Marsha Grant. And... Um, that's about all I How can, can you do that you. and Charles in Charge at the same time? Well, actually, that's what happened when, um, when I did the pilot. That was all I was signed for, for Charles in Charge. And then I got space. And when they called and asked me to oh. be a regular, I was already involved in space, so they had to work it out that I could do both at the same time. And actually, it did work out fine, but a couple of times it would get... It would get confusing because I'd have to go from one set and rush to the other. But actually, it was a lot of fun, and I liked it. Well, just, oh, what a bore. I've got to do two series now. I, I know. Just don't, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 24. 24, and I've got two series, and I just don't know if I can fit them into my schedule oh just right gosh, yet. Oh, gosh, I loved it. Did you see her in Ghostbusters? I was <laughs> trying to. I, I saw Ghostbusters, but yeah. I, I'm sorry. I can't quite place you. Oh, what what role okay. did you play? It was the part, uh, I think it's like the second scene in the movie. And it's where he is interviewing the two students with the cards, uh, the, the mm -hmm. female and the male students. And um, I keep getting all the cards right. And the oh. boy keeps getting them wrong and getting shocked. Yeah. 
That's do you know that Ghostbusters was the biggest grossing film of 1984? Yes, I do. <laughs> Does that mean you get a percentage, Jennifer? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, n listen, now that you're, you're, you're learning how this business is run, you're doing yeah. two shows at the same time, the next time you're in one, you say, I want X number of percentage points of the profit. I'm going to. <laughs> Talk to your agent. He'll take a percentage of that. And you'll, by the time you're 26, you're going to be just rolling. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But until then, we'll be watching for her here as Charles in Charge. Jennifer Runyon is her name. She's a lovely young thing. Thank Good luck you. in your career, well, my dear. You. You're off to a rousing start. Thank you. Lovely young lady. Please stay tuned because the morning show continues right after this.